On behalf of Pastor Prince Lloyd Nyako, I want to welcome you to this week's Commanding Your Week. Hallelujah. I want to start this week's prayer by thanking God. Bible says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. You want to hallow the name of the Lord tonight. You want to thank the name of the Lord this evening and say, Lord, I thank you for the coming week. I thank you for the past week. Today being the final Sunday in the month of August, you want to lift up your voice and say, Lord, I give you praise. I give you glory on behalf of my family. I thank you. On behalf of my children, I thank you. Lift your voice. Hallow the name of the Lord. Say, Baba, take all the glory. Baba, take all the praise take all the adoration to you alone will all glory be given lift your voice wherever you are invite your family invite your friend invite your colleagues let them join as we begin to command our week father we give you all the praise we give you all the glory we thank you for what you have done we thank you for what you are doing we thank you for what you are about to do may your name be praised May your name be adored. There is none that can be compared unto you, O God. We give you all the praise, O God, among the gods who can be compared unto you. We thank you for the water. We thank you for the bread. We thank you for strength. We thank you for good health. We thank you for traveling mercies. We thank you for provision. Lift your voice wherever you are. Lift your voice and begin to thank God. Begin to say, Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I worship you. Father, I adore your name. Iyadana Makuakata, David said, if he had it, be the Lord who was on my side. Where would we have been? We give you all the praise. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving. Enter into his court with praise this evening. Let nothing hold your praise back this evening. Lift your voice and say, Lord, I give you praise. Father, I thank you for all that you have done for me, for all that you are about to do. I exalt your holy name, of God. Let the name of the Lord be exalted. 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 Oh God, we lift your name tonight. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Ask the Holy Ghost to strengthen you as we enter into a time of prayer. Ask that Father, supply me grace. Supply me grace. Supply me strength as I tarry in prayer. In this command in your week service, lift your voice and pray the Lord. Release the grace to pray. Release grace and supplication. We give you glory, Lord. Release the grace to tarry in prayer upon your people. Release the grace to pray upon families. We are praying our first prayer for tonight. Psalm chapter 115 verse 14. May the Lord give you increase more and more. You and your children. Hallelujah. I take it again. Psalm 115 verse 14. May the Lord give you increase more and more you and your children we want to pray our first prayer that lord as i enter into a new week give my business increase Amen. give my children increase Amen. give my family increase Amen. may we enter into our harvest lift your voice wherever you are begin to pray that this week the lord will bring you increase this week you shall experience the increase of the lord the abundance of god Oh God, we pray that as we enter 
into another week. Give your children increase. Give your children increase. Wherever they are, wherever they are connected from, we pray the Lord. Let the floodgates of heaven open, O Lord. Let your children have increase. Have increase. Have increase. We declare and we decree this week we shall have increase. This week we shall have increase. May your families increase. Whatever you touch this week, may the Lord add on to and increase you more and more. And increase you more and more. In your Dana Makua Kata, Aye Gelegada, in your Palabada, in your Palabada, in your Palabada, in your Palabada, in your Kelaba, Akua Kelea, Aye Telebada, in your Dana. This week we enter into our increase, we enter into our abundance, we enter into the overflow, we enter into our harvest. Lift your voice and declare, wherever I have decreased, I reverse the equation. This week I shall increase, this week I shall increase in your palagada. I step into my increase. I step into my increase. I step into my increase. I am the number two kata. I am balabada ba. I kapala kata. I step into my increase. I step into my increase. I am increasing on every side. I am increasing in my business. I am increasing in my education. I am increasing in my career. Increasing in my finances. Iya da 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 da. Iya kapa ya kapa. Raga da da da. 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 Iya iya. Iya kapa. Iya kapa kapa. We are increasing this week. We are increasing this week. We are increasing this week. Iyo ba la ba ba ba. Iyo ba la ba ba ba. Iyo ba la ba ba ba. Iyo ba la 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 ba. Iyo. We stand into the place of increase. We stand into the place of abundance. This week, your family will increase. Iya da 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 da. Iyo kapaya, iyo kapaya, ayi kada, iya pada ya, iyo tapaya, iye te te, iya pada da da, iyo pada pada, iyo pada pada, iyo papa, iyo papa, iyo papa. Amen. Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. Other versions say, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. You want to declare that this week, may the Lord meet every need in my life. Amen. Every need that is unmet in your business. Every need that is unmet in your health. Every need that is unmet in your marriage. We want to lift up prayer to God tonight and declare that Lord, as I enter into a new week, all my needs are met. All my needs are supplied. Lift your voice and begin to pray that oh God, let every need be supplied. 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 Every need in my life this week is supplied by the grace of God. Every need in my life this week is supplied by God. Every 
In the name of Jesus, Amen. Welcome to this evening's commanding your week. It's a period of an hour where we engage the authors of the coming week. And Pastor Prince, I want you to invite your friends. We're going to pray. We have some few minutes to go. It's a period we're going to speak into our week from Monday to Sunday. God is going to visit us at the point of our need. Tonight, we want to deal with the subject of increase. We want to deal with the subject of increase. Amen. The Bible says in Psalm 115 verse 14, in the NIV version, it said, May the Lord cause you to flourish, both you and your children. This week you will flourish. Amen. The Lord will cause you to flourish in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything your hand touches you to do, it shall flourish in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The NLT says that, May the Lord richly bless both you and your children. We prophesy into Monday. We prophesy into Tuesday. Amen. We prophesy into Wednesday. Amen. We prophesy into Thursday, Amen. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And we declare that we shall flourish in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There is an aspect of God that increases a man. There is an aspect of God that causes whatever we touch to flourish. There is an aspect of God that ensures that our daily routines are blessed. You cannot become great if your daily routines are not blessed. And therefore we decree and we declare anything your hand will touch this week, it shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. It will flourish in the name of Jesus. Amen. It will enlarge in the name of Jesus. Amen. It will expand in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your business will expand in the name of Jesus. Amen. Calamity will not come near your dwelling. Amen. We rebuke the devourer for your sake. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your children will be protected. Amen. Your spouse will be protected. Amen. Our dwellings will be protected. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our first prayer. We are going to declare that in this week, in the coming week, that we will increase in wisdom. Yes, Lord. We will increase in divine ability. Amen. That the increase of the Lord will be upon us in wisdom and ability. Luke chapter 2 verse 52. The Bible said, And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature. In this week you will increase in wisdom. Amen. Amen. In this week you will increase in wisdom. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There will be an increase in wisdom. Amen. We will increase in stature. Amen. We will increase in wisdom. Amen. We lift your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. I decree and I in declare. In the coming week. In the coming week. I am increasing. I am increasing. In wisdom. In wisdom. And in stature. And in stature. In favor. In favor. With God. With God. And man. In the name of Jesus. Name Lift of your Jesus. voice and pray in three minutes. Lift your voice and pray. You will increase, you will flourish in the name of Jesus. You will increase in wisdom. You are increasing in wisdom. In Makonda Basata, we decree and we declare. Shut up. 
are too loud for me. Lift your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus, the name of I, decree I decree and I declare, I declare in my field of work, field in the coming week, I will increase in wisdom, I will increase in stature, in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice, clap your hands and pray. It's a Latin in the name of Jesus. It's a Latin in the name of Jesus. Your tent is a Latin. Your place of increase is a Latin. You are increasing. You are increasing. You are increasing. You shall not my corner. You shall possess every single blessing in the coming week. In the name of Jesus. Strengthen the steps of your dwelling because you are about to receive a net breaking miracle in the coming week. I prophesy. I speak into your week. I speak into your Monday. I speak into your Tuesday, receive a net breaking miracle in the name of Jesus. You will increase, there will be sudden enlargement, sudden increase, a sudden increase, a sudden increase, a sudden increase. Is there a year of increase? You will increase and prophesy into your business matters, your profit matters in this week. Receive. An increase, a sudden increase, an exponential increase. A record talaba, a paranaba, a caraba baya, a talaba baya. Your calls are lengthening. The Lord is lengthening the calls of your dwelling, of your profession. In the name of Jesus, receive a lengthening of your calls. Step into the first week of September. We prophesy the gates of, of, of the gate of Zebulon is opening. The gate of acceptance. Ta. <laughs> 
Asateri Akata, Iapala Dada, Iapalaya, Arakataya, Apala Dabaya, Arateri Anta, Rema Rema Rekoto, Parakataya, there will be an increase. We decree and we declare that the Lord who supplies seed and the Lord who supplies who supplies bread will supply and on Monday he will supply on Monday he will supply on Tuesday he will supply he will supply Somebody pray in the coming week. You will not lose interest. I can't even buy. Makata makata, sakata bala, rakata bala, yakata bala, apala bala, arata bala, bala bala, yaga bala, yaga bala, rabala bala. Every seed we are planting the coming week. Every seed we are planting some. We speak to our ground, it's a better ground. We prophesy an increase, an exponential increase. Somebody pray, somebody pray, wherever you are, prophesy. In the place of our brothers, we prophesy a Kadalabaya, Rapalaya, Rekataya, Akadabaya. In the morning, we will be blessed. In the afternoon, we will be blessed. In the evening, the blessing of the Lord will be upon us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. second prayer for the week I prophesy over your life you will see increase in the coming week amen, amen. you will see increase in the coming week amen it's a week of increase yes, there will be exponential increase amen. in all your endeavors in the name of Jesus amen there will be exponential increase in all your dealings in the name of Jesus amen the fields that have not yielded in the coming week they will yield amen the Bible said Isaac sowed in the land and in the same year he reaped whatever you invest in the coming week in the coming month, yes, you shall have a harvest thereof. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We rebuke the devourer for your sake. Yes, Amen. Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The locusts that destroys harvest will not locate your harvest. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever your hands that is to do, it shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. And you will say like Ruth. You went to clean on the field, ah. but the Lord added yes. to your agenda. May the Lord do far more than you have asked for in the coming week. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Instead of a basket of blessings, yes, receive bands of blessings. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We want to ask the Lord to increase our capacity. To receive from him in the coming week receive the capacity to receive from him amen receive the capacity to receive from the law amen in the name of jesus amen sometimes god wants to give us but our capacity limits god 
it's not that God is limited but our capacity to receive from him uh, limits him because he cannot give us more than we can take but you are going to pray that in the coming week the Lord increase your capacity Amen. the Lord increase your spiritual capacity Amen. the Lord increase your, your faith capacity Amen. May your faith capacity increase Amen. it took faith for Caleb to look at Joshua and say, give me this mountain at the age of 85. You want to pray in the coming week. Lift your right hand and say, in the name of Jesus. 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 As I lift up my voice. As I lift up and I pray. And I pray. I speak to my capacity. I speak to my faith. That in the coming week. In the coming week. I receive a faith that can take. The mountains, the faith that can push mountains in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and pray in three minutes. Receive the faith. Receive the faith. Receive the faith. Receive the faith to take the mountain. Receive the faith. You are receiving faith enough to push the mountain. Receive the faith to take the mountain. Receive the faith to run the race. You will not fail in, in the coming week. You will not give up. You will not give up because your deal is almost here. Your reward is close in the coming week. No happening, no event will cause you to fail in the name of Jesus. Receive the empowerment. Receive the Receive a capable faith to take that miracle. Receive a capable faith to receive that miracle. Receive a capable faith. Somebody put that down. Receive capable faith. Receive capable faith. Receive a capable faith to receive and take your blessing in the name of Jesus.
prophesy on this mountain of command of your way. In the name of your eyes, your eyes will be whole. Your hands will stand up. Your hands will conceive. Psalm 105, verse 40. God is going to do something and he'll satisfy you with something you've never seen before. He said, the people asked and he brought quails. They asked. You are going to ask for something. You are going to ask for something in the coming way. The Bible said, and the people asked and he brought quails in the coming week. This very moment, you are going to open your mouth and ask God for something. When they asked for the quails, the Bible said, God bamboozled them. The camp was filled with roasted quails. Just not manna, not just chicken. Quails are just like birds. God shocked them. They had more than they asked for in the coming week. May the Lord shock you. Amen. May the Lord give somebody something beyond what you have asked him. Amen. He will, may, may the Lord out of his goodness, out of his mercy, do something that will blow your mind. Amen. The Lord blow your mind on Monday. Amen. The Lord blow your mind on Tuesday. Amen. The Lord blow your mind on Wednesday. Amen. The Lord blow your mind on Thursday. Amen. The Lord blow your mind on Friday. Amen. The Lord blow your mind on Saturday. Amen. The Lord will blow your mind on Sunday. Amen. Lift up your voice and ask the Lord. Oh Lord, blow my mind in the coming week. Lift your voice and pray. Receive a net breaking harvest, a net breaking event, a net breaking idea, a net breaking dream in the coming week. Rabba Kasata, the Lord has gone ahead. Every crooked way has been made straight in the Dama. Yes. 
said he satisfied them with bread of heaven this week you are going to pray I see the Lord satisfying you the Lord is going to satisfy someone amen a great satisfaction something is going to happen that will calm your heart down because God will satisfy you amen Every lack, every difficulty, its due time is coming with the Lord will satisfy you. Amen. You have been anxious for all this while, but that say the Lord, I will satisfy you. Amen. When you are thirsty and you get water and you drink. Your whole system changes because you get satisfied in the coming week. I see the Lord satisfying you. I see the Lord giving you something that will quench your thirst. I see the Lord giving you something that will quench your hunger. The set in this year is over. Amen. Amen. You are going to hit a jackpot. The Lord will blow your mind. There is, I hear the word, I will blow their mind. May the Lord blow your mind. Amen. May the Lord blow your mind. Amen. May the Lord exceed your expectation a thousand times. Amen. May the Lord blow your mind. Amen. Sometimes when you are not satisfied, it means you are hungry. Hunger must be temporary. When it becomes long, it becomes a curse. Sometimes when you are not satisfied for a long time, you lose your vision, you lose your strength, you lose your health, you lose your glory, you lose your dignity. That hunger that is eating up your glory, the end is now in the name of Jesus. Amen. That hunger that has turned you into a beggar, the end is now in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible said, and he satisfied them. Enter the week with boldness because there's going to be satisfaction. Amen. There is going to be the very thing you have been doing in a normal way week after week without anybody's recognition in the coming week it shall be recognized for honor amen i said it shall be recognized for honor amen it shall be recognized for honor amen rebecca has been going to the well every now and then she goes there to fetch water for the house but on this occasion the same thing she has been doing the same well the same formula Look, don't change the formula. That formula is of the spirit. Mm. Don't change the formula. Don't stop believing God. Don't stop trusting God. Don't sell your birthright. That formula is divine. That same formula. As he went to the well to fetch the water, there comes Eliezer, the servant of Abraham, looking for a wife for Isaac. I prophesy over your life. As you enter into the next week. May the same thing you have been doing on a normal day, may it be a trigger for a mind-blowing miracle in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We are going to intercede for unemployed people. Anybody on this platform, anybody on this platform trusting God for a new job, trusting God for a new business connection, we are going to pray. The Lord is giving new jobs. 
Amen. Yes. I said the Lord is giving you jobs. Amen. Receive a new job wherever I, you are. I receive, I receive, it. receive your employment letter in the name of Jesus. Amen. It will come with speed in the name of Jesus. Amen. The letters they don't want to release, they are releasing at this very hour Amen. by the fire of the Lord. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Say Jesus. in the name of Jesus. In the name by the of power Jesus. of the Holy Ghost. The I take hold. I take, I take hold. hold of my employment letter my right, employment now. Right, right now. Right now. Right now. Right right now, now. Right right clap now. your hands, pray in three minutes, pray. We release a prayer let us by divine authority in the name of Jesus. We release a prayer let us. We release a prayer let us. Let every objection be objected. We object every objection. We object to every objection in the name of Jesus. We object to every delay. We cancel delay. Let the letter be signed and let the letter be released. In the coming week, receive that letter. Receive that letter. We intercede for all the bright people watching right now. Pray right now. Who will pray later with this strength? We decree and we declare. Let there be a bright letter. Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs in 24 hours. In 48 hours. In 72 hours. We that which coming to the way, we declare it restored in the better form, in the name of Jesus. Let promotion letters be released, let confirmation letters be released. In the name of Jesus, let them be divine performance in Maratona, Paranabalaba, divine performance, divine performance, divine performance, divine intervention, Rangadabababa, that decrees to them, oh Lord, we release the letter, we command your letters release, that PhD holder, that master holder, I pray for someone you are holding, you are a chartered accountant, but where you are working, you are not happy, you are trusting God for a new job, I declare to you that gate is open, receive a new one, receive a new one, receive a new one, Maragadaba, Magadodaba, Rekatababa, the angel that releases the letters for new job has been activated, receive your own, Ragadaba, if you are standing in, I see a lady, you are praying for your brother, I pray in the name of Jesus, that letter of employment is released in the name of Jesus. Rakatoraba, Alfadaba, management will release the letter. They will sit, the board of directors, they will sign the letter. Makadaba, every contention, every contention on your appointment comes to an end. Every contention on your appointment, it comes to an end. Every contention on your appointment. We decree and we declare there is space for you. There is space for you in the banking sector in the name of Jesus. And let that space be released. There is space in Kalona Makata. There is space in oil and gas industry. Let letters be released. We command employment doors to open for the unemployed in the name of Jesus. You have planned. Look at you now. Look at your letter now. Look at your CV now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and we declare that doors of opportunity will open for every unemployment, unemployed person. Praying along right now. We got a bus. Your 
activity to play the harp, but nobody knew him until his time. I decree and I declare the coming week is your time of increase. Your showers of blessing all upon us. He got up. Showers of blessing on employment letters. Showers of blessing on applications. Showers of blessing on CVs. As you step into the interview room, the showers of favor is located you. If it has not been the Lord that was on our side, where will we have been? The grace of hope of employment upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let every controversy over your employment into your new job, into that company. Let every controversy, every controversy, whoever is raising objection. Whoever has a problem with no reason that has delayed the release of that letter, let another man higher than that man be anointed and appointed by God to overrule their objection and release your letter in the name of Jesus. Amen. We intercede. This coming week, the Lord will move marvelously in our midst. Amen. Amen. We prophesy that employment will be common. Employment will change. Wherever you are being underpaid, I prophesy you out. And I prophesy you into where you'll be paid for what is due you. Amen. Amen. And I declare that wherever they are not paying you well, all the years you have worked just like the Israelites as they stepped out of Egypt in one night they received salary worth 430 years of labor I prophesy your next job will cancel all your debt. Amen. Your next job will erase all your shame. Amen. Your next job will speak or will, will, will spark your glory. Your next job will cancel all your disappointment. Amen. Amen. All that Esther needed was the appointment in the palace because it was such a time that she had to enter. There are times that God ordains that his people will enter into certain realm of power. You have played amongst the common. It is time. I hear the Lord. It is time to establish your feet in the corridors of power. Amen. There is somebody watching me. The Lord is about to establish your feet in the corridors of power in the coming week. Amen. You have played with the locals. You have played with the crowd. You have been swallowed by the crowd. You have been commonized. But that say the Lord. In your coming week. In the coming week. The Lord is going to establish your feet in the place of power. Amen. The corridors of power. May God, may the God that hears us when we pray, the Lord is establishing somebody. I repeat, you have, you have roamed about in the place of the common. You have rubbed shoulders with the crowd. But it's time, like Esther, like Mordecai. Mordecai was working as a gate man for a long time but the time came that that which was due him that which he worked for he, he, had, he had stopped a coup against the king he had stopped the king's assassination but it was kept and hidden in books but when his time came it is your time for your feet to be established in the corridors of power. Amen. Whatever COVID took away, forget about it. Because something glorious, something more glorious, something more powerful, something more beautiful is being released into your hands. Amen. We're speaking to your coming week. Yes, Lord. 
May no shame come near your dwelling. Amen. I said, may no shame come near your dwelling. Amen. May no shame come near your dwelling. Amen. May no shame come near your dwelling. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The last prayer. I repeat, the Lord, Benis, the Lord establish your feet in the corridors of power. Amen. Amen. Whoever will resist the establishment just like him and they will be taken out. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It is your week of increase and so shall it be. Male Karadabahasata. We prophesy and God asked the prophet, can these bones live again? The solution God gave to the prophet was that he should prophesy. What we are doing is that we are prophesying into our week. We are prophets. We are shifting the atlas of our week Amen. in the right place. Amen. The last prayer. Psalm 65 verse 11. NLT. Softer verses. You crown the year with a bountiful harvest. Last year, you ended the year with less you ended the year with no much to show. But that saith the Lord in the coming week will be the beginning. You know when, when you are watching a movie, those days when we used to watch movies a lot, there is something we call Kila Bewu La Show. You see, it is in the La Show that we see the exploits of the blow man, the protagonist. We used to say blow man, but when we grew up, we got to know that the blow man is called the protagonist. And the killer is the antagonist. It is in the last show <laughs> that the protagonist kills and the protagonist power and ammunition are released. And according to the scripture, your last show is more glorious than your beginning. Amen. Amen. So you see that in the movies, from the beginning, they identify the blow man, what they call the protagonist. In the middle, it looks like the protagonist is put in the corner. He's humiliated, but don't leave the screen because you have not seen the real story. The real story is in the last show, and in the last show, we see the blow man taking his place again. I decree, according to the scripture, you crown the year with a bountiful harvest. You will end this year with a bountiful harvest. Amen. Amen. I said you will end this year with a bountiful harvest. Amen. Your basket will not be empty. Yes, your bands will not be empty. Amen. There will be fresh wine in your wine press. That's and there will be fresh corn in your bands. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And the new Andi You will end the year with a bountiful harvest. Amen. Even the hard pathways. Hey. The hard pathways, what was not working from January, from September to the end of the year, they will work. Amen. The scripture says, what has not been working, what has not been yielding, the Bible says, even the hard pathways, they shall overflow with abundance. Lift up your two hands wherever you are and begin to ask God for abundance. Abundance of grain, abundance of wine, abundance of increase, abundance of harvest. Lift your voice and pray. From now to the end of the year, there will be abundance. The story will change. When you step into your season of abundance, you will forget your season of famine. You will forget your season of scarcity. The years that the locusts, the caterpillars have eaten, when you step into your abundance, you will forget about it. Therefore, I prophesy that our labor, your labor in the coming week, will be crowned with the best of abundance of your abundance and bountiful abundance in the name of Jesus. I'm 
storm of sea and our storm of fire and our storm of harvest we claim Jesus is our season of bountiful harvest as you step into the weekend and not congratulations welcome into your harvest season abundance your September your number months are the four number months I'm going to yield In the name of Jesus, your dread will yield according to Isaiah chapter 9, verse 3. The Lord enlarges you, the Lord increases your joy, the Lord causes you to rejoice before Him. Listen, 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 listen. In the coming week, the Lord will cause you to rejoice. Amen. The Lord will cause you to rejoice. Amen. Anita, the Lord will cause you to rejoice. Amen. Jigbodi, the Lord will cause you to rejoice. Amen. Before. Amen. Kojo is here to the Lord will cause you to rejoice. Amen. You will enter into your overflow. Yes, Lord. The hard things that were not working. Mm. This week begins the overflow. Amen. Amen. It will shock you. It will shock your enemies. Amen. Amen. That in this week. Your overflow will be real. Amen. Amen. You will not cry before the Lord again. Amen. You will not lament before the Lord again. Amen. You will rejoice before the Lord. Amen. If you believe you are stepping into your increase and your overflow and your abundance, give the Lord a clap offering and a shout of praise. A shout of praise is your Namahata. You are entering into overflow. Shout overflow. Overflow. Hallelujah. Amen. You are entering into your overflow. Amen. The hard pathways are becoming straight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Overflow Amen. shall be your testimony. Amen. Increase. Increase. This week, you shall return from this week with an overflowing testimony. Amen. I repeat the scripture, the message version. That is the scripture you are taking home. If you just join us, Psalm 65, verse 11. Let everybody know. Make barakata. Give me the amplified version, sorry. Maro Sakafaya. He said, you crown the year with your bounty and goodness. And the tracks of your chariot wheels drip with fatness. I declare you will be fat this week. Amen. Your bank account will be fat this week. Amen. Your testimony account will be fat this week. Amen. Your miracle account will be fat this week. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I know this week somebody's employment will be settled forever. Amen. If you believe it, give the Lord another shout of praise. Yes. Wow. is on the screen. If you want to give an offering, if you want to sow a seed, if you want to pay a tithe, just feel free because God is going to bless you. You will have more than enough. The Lord will usher you. You will experience overflow. You will experience abundance. And I want you to know that God is faithful. Meet us on this mountain next week at 4 p.m. as we fire into our month, our week and see the Lord perform. Shalom and peace and life to you. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.
Oh. 